Let's think of um, of a special window function. Special window function which which controls the the ripple or side lobes. of the filter response. So imagine we have we have a low pass filter response which which goes like like that. And um, and so we would like to make sure that that this that this peak here that, that this peak here goes definitely down at least by a decibel. A decibel or or more. So we, we would like to specify something that we say, okay, so that's at least a decibel or even better. And then um, and then plus Plus, we would like to control the transition width. The transition width. So transition width means here, this here. So that this that this goes here from from um, one essentially from the one response to to zero to the damping here. This can be done by the so-called Kaiser window. So with that we can we can define this. Yeah, so A that we would like to have a certain certain guarantee that this bump here is at least a certain certain amount of decibel below that and um, and that we have a have a certain transition width here. So how is that how is that done? So with the Kaiser window, that's actually an, an empirical formula which um, is not necessarily um, grounded in in a, in very deep mathematical terms, but it gives us a very interesting or direct result. So. Kaiser window. So, so the first thing what this mass provides us is with number number of tabs required. And this is calculated with this formula here, A minus 8 divided by 2 Eight five multiplied by delta omega, and this is our transition width. Transition width in in radians. So if we have or a filter like that, and and this is our transition width here, f f one, and um, h and f f two, then the then the delta omega is two pi f two minus minus f one. So that's the that's the idea behind that. And then remember we've got the got this got this factor a here. And that's a in decibel the um, 
the distance a minimum minimum distance between main lobe and um, side lobe or in this case here this means that if our if our filter response goes like that then then this is here the minimum decibel between between this this here and the first and the first side lobe here so that's again again our our frequency here and so so that's quite a useful useful calculation which gives us the the numbers the number of tabs required with this magic magic formula here and then with that we are getting also our window function um, so kaiser window function so that's defined as omega n and then i0 beta and then square 1 minus n minus minus alpha divided by alpha square then another another bracket around this here and then this one and then another bracket around and then divided just by i0 beta so now we've got these um, two two parameters alpha alpha and beta here so we need to define to define these for for the window that's again it's um as i said earlier it's an empirical measure so we are getting numbers which are which have been found out to be to be useful here or valid so if a is greater than 50 we take this formula i'm just writing this this here down just to just to show that this has been has been done in an empirical fashion so that's that's here valid valid for in the, in this region here and then otherwise it's it's zero for a smaller than than 21 and um, and alpha alpha is is m half what we have um, calculated before 